My name is Kurt Capville. I'm from Hinsdale, Montana. I'm a junior and I pole vault for the Minot State University track team. Um, when I was a freshman, I came in for pole vault and the multi, which I did the heptathlon indoor. And I guess I qualified for nationals for both the hep and pole vault for NEI. Um, I guess I've always kind of been interested when I was really little. At track practice, you could either go run or you can try to pole vault, and it sure looked a lot more fun to me at the time, I guess. And it's a total adrenaline rush, I guess, when the pole unloads and shoots you into the air. You just kind of got to be quick enough to get to where you're at the right angle where it's shooting you up instead of forward, and it makes a huge difference. I always just set my goals high, and if I don't quite achieve the highest goal, hopefully my next goals are pretty high up there too. And my pole vault coach actually used to have the indoor pole vault record before I came here, so, and he works with me quite a bit, so I'm working with a pretty high caliber coach, and it's pretty nice. Um, I'd really like to hit that 17-foot mark. You just kind of got to relax and jump, and the rest will take care of itself. You can't get too caught up in stress things. Pole vault's a really mental sport, so if you stress yourself, you'll just do worse. He's, you know, he's the type of person that uh, definitely would like a few more on the team. Not necessarily because of his athletic ability, but more uh, his character and, and team aspect, the things he brings to the team, um, the things he brings that brings the other team members closer together. Um, and then of course his athletic. As last year for NCAA Division II, I took second in the NSIC and with a jump of 16, two and a half and that ranked 16th in the country, but due to a tiebreaker, I didn't end up going to nationals. I guess it gave me a lot more drive, but I was pretty down about it for a little while, but you gotta realize that you can't get down on something like that, and you just gotta bounce back and stay positive, move on and do better, I guess.